Hey guys, Ronnie Godoy here, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. In this video, we're going to take a look at the toolbox that comes within SolidWorks, and we're going to see how we can use the hardware within that CAD library in order to use it here in our model. We're also going to take a brief look at smart fasteners and how we could uh, use that tool to add fasteners automatically into SolidWorks. So, first thing we want to do here is take a look at where the toolbox is located. It's in our task pane here under the design library tab. You'll see we got this toolbox. And so this toolbox has a wide variety of different hardware, standard hardware like fasteners, nuts, bolts, washers, things like that, that you could use in your models or your assemblies. So if this is your first time opening toolbox, you're going you're gonna to get this message from SolidWorks to add in the toolbox uh, tool but uh, you can either click on here to add that in or another way you could select it is going here by going to your add-ins option and you can select this SolidWorks toolbox library select this checkbox to turn it on and if you want it to automatically start up every time you start your software just hit that checkbox under the startup column so hit OK and then we'll just go ahead and refresh our library here and you'll see that the toolbox has a variety of different drafting standards. So you have ANSI inch, ANSI metric, as well as other ones like ISO. So we could go ahead and use any of these. If we look at the ANSI inch folder, you'll see that we have some subfolders for like bolts and screws. We also have nuts, pins, etc. So we could go ahead and go in here and select any of these screws here. If I go to hex head, I could just click and drag on this screw there and then I could just drop it in my assembly just like that and using smart components SolidWorks automatically sizes it based off of the hole that I dragged it into so it automatically gives me a suggested size and then I could go ahead and I can resize this all the way up to um, the dimensions that I desire so depending on what my model looks like we could go ahead and pull that out we get a property manager so we have different pr properties here that we can uh, customize and select but SolidWorks does a pretty good job of uh, giving us good options for uh, sizing it into the holes that we're dragging them into so just like this I could insert multiple instances and they're all gonna have the same size that I selected for that first instance so it's a very huge time saver you just have to click and drag them into your assembly and you don't have to worry about uh, adding additional mates because SolidWorks will automatically size these fasteners for you. So one of the next things we want to take a look at is uh, using smart fasteners. So instead of using or clicking and dragging these fasteners into our assembly, we could go in here and we could use what we call smart fasteners. And essentially, SolidWorks is going to automatically populate a list of different fasteners that it thinks you're trying to input based off of the hole sizes that you've selected. So these holes were created using the hole wizard, which is, uh, you know, when you're creating different types of holes, you select the, what type of hole you're, you're creating and the size for that. So SolidWorks will automatically populate all of the different fasteners it, it thinks would match the holes that you've created. And then you could go in here and it's going to group them based off of the different fasteners that it's adding. But for example, if I wanted to change this one in the middle, it doesn't really look like I want to select that one for this particular area. So I could always go back here to the property manager, right mouse click on it, and say change fastener type. And then I could come in here. This is my library for my toolbox. So I could go ahead and select you know, a different fastener if I wanted to play something else there. And again, it's automatically going to be size. And I could go ahead and drag this arrow to select the length of that fastener. One last thing we want to look at here, these fasteners are automatically inputted into our assembly, but we could even take it a step for further by adding some, more, some hardware either to the top of the fastener near the head, or we could add some hardware to the bottom. So for example, if we wanted to add a washer at the bottom of this group here, I can select that. SolidWorks automatically populates it for all the different fasteners within that group. And then if I wanted to add, let's say, for example, a nut, just select it through the library there. And SolidWorks is automatically going to update the length of those fasteners based off of that hardware that I'm adding on to it. 
So just like that, using Smart Fasteners, we could go ahead and accept our property manager. And now we've added those fasteners automatically within SolidWorks. So this was just a, a quick video to take a look at the toolbox as well as a brief look at smart fasteners and how we can insert hard, uh, hardware within that CAD library fast and easily. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you, take, uh, you check out our YouTube channel and take a look at our blog at www.hawkridgesys.com.